has been trying to install democracies and nations for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Trigger PH, and today I'm going to be taking a look at and just breaking apart bits and pieces of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer. Since I'm not allowed to put the whole trailer up here, that's why I'm just kind of cutting it up, and I'll be pointing out some things that I uh, I think could be possible new uh, kill streak rewards for the in-game Xbox Live, uh, just like the gameplay, not the campaign. So I want to be looking at those and just some some of the cool things that uh, that I found watching the trailer. It is a really cool trailer. Looks uh, looks like it's gonna be a more uh, like Titanfall-ish uh, game. Well, at least the campaign. I don't know about the Xbox, the the live uh, multiplayer. So we'll see. But yeah, this guy's face. If you guys like playing the campaign, I'm gonna go ahead and make a big bet that this guy, he's gonna be the face of like the enemy or the bad thing who you guys are trying to take out, you're trying to take him out, because as he was talking about a democracy, if you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like ruled by the people. Um, he says it hasn't worked once or not yet or something like that. I can't remember his exact words, but I feel like he wants to try and uh, take over that's just uh, the hint that I'm getting from that, and just like he—he's the ruler, because later he—I uh, won't be able to show up, but he's like uh, that's when I come in, and so I'm guessing he wants to try and take over. So that's that's what I feel like this guy symbolizes. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. Yes, and then there's this guy. This is what I was saying before about uh, this game might be a little more Titanfall-ish because of all the mechanics that it looks like these guys have on their body. Um, like I said, this could be just a campaign, or it could be uh, the multiplayer. You're gonna have more camp, like uh, more mechanics on your legs. You're gonna be able to jump higher. If you can see his hands right there, and uh, what you'll see later in the video, some with his hands too, which uh, it just it looks like it's. Like it says, advanced warfare. It's going more away from Call of Duty to more Titanfall-ish. So that could be cool. Could be a new, new cool thing for uh, Call of Duty if that's what they're actually doing with it. You're gonna be able to jump higher. Don't think you're gonna be able to do like the double dump or uh, run out walls, but you might be able to climb walls. So we'll see about that later. We ought to be tolerant of those. So here we see again the jumping abilities that these guys have. I didn't see any like jetpack flares come out from behind them. It really, if you if you listen close, it really just sounds like uh, some little mechanic things when you're jumping up. It's just like a little, I don't even know how, how you want to say it, a little contracting noise maybe that helps them jump higher. So that's just another glimpse of what these guys might be able to, how high they might be able to jump and how quick they might be able to move around. That you can just march into these countries based on... Now right here, this definitely looks like uh, more towards the campaign. You can see like the huge tank coming in the background. They got a nice blue grid on the ground. I think being shot, if you saw like right in the beginning of that little, little, little video clip that I saw, looks like it's being shot from that little light in the middle that's coming out. And I'm not sure what it's really gonna do. Maybe help you see out the enemies better, or send you like mines that are placed on the ground. Not sure, but we'll definitely, uh, we'll see in the campaign because if they have it in the video, they're gonna have it in the game, right? All right, let's continue. Mentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, top. All right, guys, yeah, so there's two things that I want to go over in this little clip. One was this guy that went invisible. He clicked something on his little arm pad, and he went invisible like a cloaking device. Now, that would be, it looks like it's campaign as well, but that would be very cool if they had that in the multiplayer as a, maybe a kill streak. Rewar or something if you get a lot of clothes you go invisible for like a kill or two or for like 30 seconds I don't know how they would do that and then if someone if I have like a, a special grenade They could throw it and then it makes them like light up breaks their invisibility cloak I don't know, but the second thing I also want to show, spot out uh, was this this like weird screen looking color It's got red and orange everywhere. It's like kind of like a thermal Looks like a thermal image of the gun from the when the guy threw the little canister bomb. It popped and it looked like the screen went uh, like this. And so I don't know if that's a special type of grenade that it'll spot out enemy and enemies. Maybe enemies. I don't know. Maybe enemies though. Spot enemies out like a kind of like a thermal thermal image for your whole screen instead of just your gun sight. Uh, like again though, we'll see about that. 
Pull a dictator and yeah, quickly after we see that whole screen thermal image, we get a gun sight that looks like this. And the, the guys are kind of like the same color as the whole thermal image, so this could be just a, a cool gun sight. This reminds me of the target finder a little bit, but uh, if that is a sight, we'll just have to deal with it because I remember the target finder is uh, kind of overpowered, got a lot of people annoyed, so uh, uh, it kind of looks like a cool sight, but as well, it could be overpowered, so we'll see how that goes. People don't want freedom. And then we get to this beast of a Mamma Jamba, who looks like he would be a Titan in Titanfall, kind of, with a huge uh, minigun. Mini and uh, did, we didn't get to see a lot of him, but this also would be an insane killstreak reward. You'd have to get a lot of kills, I'm guessing, or you just get to use him in campaign, hoping that it's a killstreak reward, because that'd be fun to use. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to take one of these guys out, it looks like. Uh, it'd be real fun to use, though. and. Uh, well, I hope it is a multiplayer killstreak reward, so come on, put it in there. People need a leader who can give them both the support and the constraints to keep... Alright guys, so there's three things that I wanted to point out in that little clip. First was this dude's like Spider-Man gloves. He just turns them on and starts running up the walls with them, and that's why I said before not running on walls but climbing on walls even though I just said running up walls so I'm wearing things different but you know what I mean so that's pretty cool second thing was just those bikes I thought they were pretty cool they're like some like hover bikes so I wanted to throw those in there and but the third thing was this person who chucks that thing out and it turns into like a little a flying robot which will kind of reminds me of like in Call of Duty Ghost, uh, I believe it's called the Vulture or like the Guard Dog or like an AH6 Overwatch. It kind of just hovers by you and helps you take out some enemies and just kind of a guards your six, you would say. So that looks like a pretty cool kill streak. I'm guessing you're gonna have that as a kill streak. It looks pretty obvious, and um, I hope you throw it out like that. It looks pretty cool. Hey. This thing looks really cool guys, it almost looks portable, it's not, it's pretty huge, I mean he's crouching down and it's as tall as him, but this would be a really cool killstreak reward, you just stomp it down on both sides, you just stretch it out, and it becomes like a riot shield almost, it just protects you from the gunshots, it's gotta be made some thick material to protect all the gunshots, but either way, looks really cool and I hope that's in the multiplayer as well, because uh, you know, people can hide behind it, and you can probably get like, what, three or four guys behind it? That and that would uh, go for some cool shootouts. And then I saw this during the video, the trailer, and I was like, ooh, plasma cannon. And uh, I'm sure this is only for the campaign. I just saw the gunshots. It looks really cool. I mean, if you can drive or have tanks in a multiplayer, then maybe you'll be able to get a plasma cannon tank like this, and that'd be, that'd be interesting. So we'll see about that, and let's continue. This guy, he's doing some like ninja flying kick thing, I'm not sure, but there's another glimpse of how far the dudes can jump in this game, possibly in the multiplayer as well. He's just, this is doing some flying kick thing, and here he's just, boom, takes him out. I don't know what happens, but yeah guys, that is pretty much the whole trailer. Um, I went over his, what, everything that I thought I... Well, everything that I wanted to, and I mean, it could have already be a list out there that tells you all the kill streak rewards for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Not too sure. I didn't look anything up. I just watched the trailer and then wanted to talk about it in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The game does come out November fourth, so go and pre-order that game, guys. I'm sure you can pre-order it right now. I'm gonna do it soon, and uh, maybe you'll get like a free bonus map, free weapon for pre-ordering, or a poster. So hope to see you guys all on the game when it comes out November fourth, and I'll catch you guys all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.